Well, the who's who of the Australian fashion industry are expected to turn out to honour Carla Zampatti at a state funeral at Sydney's St Mary's Cathedral today. The 78-year-old died earlier this month after suffering complications from a fall at the opera at Mrs Macquarie's Point. Joining me now is news.com.au's Melissa Hoyer. Melissa, thank you for joining me this morning. Firstly, can you tell us just how important Carla Zampatti was in the fashion world? I think when, when you look at Australian designers, she really, I mean, apart from being in the industry for over 50 years, which is pretty much impossible in the industry, but she certainly did that. Um, what, what she did so well was each year she was able to take whatever the trends were and really, really sort of evolve them. I mean, I think with fashion, it is such a fickle thing, as you know, but she constantly just tried and, and succeeded in staying relevant. And I think for a designer who was into, into her 70s, as we know, for her to maintain that and continually come up time and time again with appropriate and on-trend designs was extraordinary. And of course, her, you know, also her contribution to the arts industry as a whole was extraordinary. She was a great um, supporter of, of the opera, of the ballet, and she was on the on the board of SBS for quite a while. So she really went across the whole sort of pop culture spectrum, which for a designer to do is is quite unusual. Yeah, an extraordinary career in all aspects. Why do you think that her designs were so loved by women? Yeah. There was an aspirational aspect to Carla Zampani's designs. You know, if, if you were, no matter, no matter your age, whether you were 18 or, or 80, there was something about if you wanted to buy a good, strong Australian designer, it was, oh, I'm going to save up for a Carla Zampani. You know, even my mum, you know, when I was younger, she, you know, she would save up and she actually bought, I remember, a Carla Zampani suit. And so even in my psyche, when I was a kid, I sort of thought, wow, if it comes to Australian designers, she must be the one. And so even as I've grown up and, and writing about fashion for my entire career, she was an absolute constant. And, and no matter your socio, your, your, your economic status, you still wanted at some stage perhaps to have a Carla Zampani in your wardrobe. Absolutely. Timeless classics uh, that can uh, withstand the test of time. Uh, Melissa, exactly. what happens now to the brand? Well, uh, for quite a while, Carla had you know, a, a group of people working with her. There's the brand, no question, will survive. And, and her aesthetic which, you know, as you said, uh, is very, it's sort of streamlined, it's classic, but it's still a bit sexy. That aesthetic is already entrenched within the current team who is there at Carla Zampani. So I think, like it's happened with a lot of European designers, you know, long after the designer has gone, whether it's Gianni Versace or Christian Dior, the, the team believe and understand the aesthetic. So it'll continue, no question. And her daughter, Bianca Spender, has her own label as well. It's, it's quite different from Carla's, but, but certainly that whole Zampatti feeling will, will, will be around. It will be around for a long time. A state funeral will, of course, be held today at Sydney's St Mary's Cathedral. Yeah. Uh, can we expect the who's who of the fashion world to attend and pay their respects? Absolutely. I think the who's who of the fashion world and the probably the television world and the, and the celebrity world, you think of, you know, you put on the television and, and at one time or another, most um, hosts, you've probably worn it yourself, have, have, have put on some Carla Zampani. So there'll be a lot of a lot of media there, no doubt, but a lot of fashion um, industry and certainly um, a whole lot of uh, TV faces. So it'll be quite a, a who's who. But yeah, again, it'll be it'll be a celebration, but it'll be very sad because uh, the circumstances, of course, of her death were, were, were tragic and, and so, so much too soon.